Is global warming real? Are you worried about this climate changing in your city? Do you think that the global warming theory is not a theory, but the truth? It's big issues. But let's break it down in simple, easy terms. First, what is global warming? Global warming is basically the long-term heating up of our planet's average temperature. This is mainly caused by us. We do things which releases greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. What does it do? It traps the heat like a blanket on earth, making the whole earth hot. Think of it like this. Imagine leaving your car in a hot day with the windows rolled up. The sun's heat gets trapped inside, making the car super hot. That's the kind what is happening to our earth with the greenhouse gases. Let us see the proof of it and do a reality check. Texas freezes. Understand the phenomenon in recent years? Texas has experienced freezing weather for days after days. Second, ocean heat and climate change. Why? The ocean absorbs much of the excess heat from global warming. As CO2 level rises, the ocean temperature also increases. Warmer ocean water can lead to stronger storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, and affect the climate system worldwide. Melting glaciers. Glaciers are melting at an alarming rate due to rising global temperatures. Well, it raises the water and alters the sea level. If current trend continues, many coastal cities like Osaka, Miami, they are going to face the risk of flooding. What is the future of coastal cities? It's not looking good. Many coastal cities are at risk of being submerged in the ocean due to the rising sea level. Coastline is receding. The UN Panel of Climate Change reports and they highlight that by year 2100, the sea level will be about one to two meter higher. It will threaten millions of people, millions of lives in low-lying areas. What are these wildfires in North America, Canada? The increasing frequency and intensity of wildfire in the Western United States, California, is in recent news for three eruption of fires. Canada also is showing the same trend. As we know, that is the perfect pattern to contribute to the increased risk of wildfire. Have you heard of pollution in India and China? Record high. Record high pollution levels in countries India and China. Why? Because of rapid industrial growth, reliance on coal, and insufficient environmental regulation. Big cities contribute to increased vehicle use, which plays a major role in rising pollution levels. So what are the biggest culprits pumping out these heat trapping gases? Coal and CO2. Coal is used for energy, is one of the largest source for energy for CO2 emissions. Second factor, the removal of trees. Why? Population of growth needing a homes, commercial centers, making it a jungle of concrete. It reduces the planet's ability to reduce CO2. Now that we know these are the proof for global warming. It's not a joke. We are seeing more extreme weathers everywhere. Heat waves, freezing weather, floods, droughts, dry weather, name it. Rising sea level, which is threatening coastal cities, melting glaciers are totally disrupting our ecosystem. But good news is that, that it's not all doom and gloom. There is still hope. Many countries are working together to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and invest in renewable energy, solar and wind power. There is the global discussion on this in United Nations meeting, which focuses on international cooperation and address climate changes. Let's see how we can help individual levels. We can help combat global warming. Yes, we can help reduce energy consumption. Use energy efficient appliances. Use public transportation or walk to your work if it's possible. A reducing meat consumption can decrease methane emission from livestock. Support reforestation. What does that mean? Participate in tree planting initiatives everywhere. Plant, plant, plant. Shrubs, trees, wherever you see empty space. And believe me, we can help with that. Reduce waste, recycle, minimal use of plastic which really fills up our landfill and is not good for our health. So what is the conclusion? The issues surrounding global warming and climate changes are urgent and they're all interconnected. The UN and other organizations 
advocates collaborative effort to mitigate this effect through sustainable practices, renewable energy initiative, and global cooperation. But friend, let me know your thoughts. I have shared everything I have. I'm Sonal Shah. I'm a realtor in Houston. If you like these informative videos, we bring it to you every week. Please like and subscribe. Comments are really essential and really good for our channel to grow and bring you this week after week. Thank you. Bye.